As I was saying earlier, we're using foam in the NK65, so hopefully this will be good. Hopefully this will be good. If you guys caught any of my reviews on this, you'll know that I was quite disappointed with how it sounded. Like, it sounded fine for a sub $100 board, but, you know, given current competition, given current standards, this kinda has taken a back seat. Yay, it's Kate rating with a party of 63. Thank you. Thank you very much. You guys came just in time. I had some audio issues because of temperatures here. So um, you guys came just in time as I fixed it. So awesome, awesome, awesome. See, for all of you guys new to the channel, I build keyboards. Uh, what you're seeing in front of me is the soon to go on group by Jelly Epoch. But today I'm rebuilding my NK65. Yay's Kate says, have a great stream. Thank you. Hope you hope you had a great stream. So thank you very much for sending all your people my way. So as I was saying, today we're rebuilding my first edition NK65, putting in stupid fish foam, a new PCB with ESD protection, and Gateron switches. Rave tune says, who's this guy? I came here for Destiny's Child. <laughs> well, um, in case you haven't heard, uh, Destiny's Child hasn't really been around for several years at this point. <laughs> in fact, the only notable member still making music is <laughs> Beyonce. I'm not really sure about what the others have been up to, right? I, I think one of them was Kelly, Kelly Rowland. Wait, was that... Was that one of the girls, Ke Kelly Rowland? Yeah. <laughs> Rave Two Noon says, "Ugh." Yeah, I know, man. Almost feels like Destiny's Child was the hit music yesterday, right? <laughs> Counting their money, probably. Yeah, that's true. Like, imagine if you had an illustrious um, music career and you actually manage your your money wisely instead of buying Mick Mansions and all that, you'd probably be doing very well today. Are you getting have gotten a CK Baka Neko? Um, I've looked at the Baka Neko, but it just doesn't really stand out to me, to be honest. Like the way it looks just looks like another 65%. Yeah, based on an open source board, which I really appreciate. Um, You know, we obviously use open source firmware right but i guess the next the next stage is open source keyboards willis rock says you're still hip oh thank you thank you very much <laughs> what keycap is that on the jelly that is gmk merlin my dude yeah um a couple of people have asked if i'm gonna do an r2 i really want to do an r2 of merlin and I do want to do it in GMK, but given current current manufacturing times, right? Current manufacturing times, it's almost a year, sometimes more than a year. I'm kind of hesitant to, to, to subject anyone to that kind of torture. So I'm looking at other, other profiles. Other profiles or possibly even still Cherry, but other, other manufacturers, right? Just because I am, I am very much a cherry user very much a cherry user i haven't really found any much as 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 much joy and contentment with other profiles so yeah all right there we go there it is so as i was saying earlier this is novel keys nk65 newest pcb version 1.3 as far as i am aware no NK65 sold on, on Novel Keys comes with this PCB. So if you have an NK65 aluminum, if you have a NK65 EE, you will not have ESD protection. This is, as far as I know, the only way to get ESD protection. Um, though I've heard rumors, I've heard rumors that their new PCB will have not just ESD protection, but also cutouts for PCB mounted stabilizers. Yep, you guys heard me right. PCB mounted stabilizers. Finally, they're finally listening to the community. That's big. Yeah, I know that's big. I think um they've learned their their own lesson from doing the 
NK87 and seeing how people loved that, that, that they had, you know, PCB mod stabilizer, so they're like, why not? Why not? Almost too late. Yeah, I know Gold Top, right? Like, you would think, like, I can understand why a mic chose to go with the, with the plate mounted stuff, just because it's easier. It's easier to assemble. And I think he was trying, trying to, like, rationalize that by saying, hey, it is a sub hundred dollar board. You know, we're not trying to go premium enthusiast market here, but still, you know, but still he got really critiqued about that, I, which, which I personally think is unfair, you know, but then you have people like, like the Icky68 folks, uh, KBD fans coming around with me like, yeah, we could do PCB mounted stabilizers for sub a hundred dollars. <laughs> not Pana said, hello, someone gifted me a sub the other day and I wasn't online. Oh, interesting. I didn't know you could gift subs to people who weren't online. That's good. G GMK Ziploc. Yes. German plastic. The bag is actually made out of very, very thin ABS. Wouldn't that be a riot? I have all this foam on my desk now, but I think this is good. It's also delicious. <laughs> yeah, a lot of people have commented to me about eating the, eating like the GMK trays. Iowa says, did you get my whisper? Ah, uh, let me look. I don't actually monitor Twitch chat when I'm, I mean, uh, Twitch whispers whenever I'm streaming, unless it's my group by stream. But let's see, what did you send me? I think my plate in the NK65 bothered me even more than the plate mount stats. Ruined so many switches due to tightness. Yeah, a lot of people have said that. I'm... I don't know, I feel like I've been rather fortunate about that. Like, I've easily removed switches. So... I don't know, maybe it's just one of those... Consistency QC things. Like, I, I definitely did not experience that, so... You know. How am I liking the the Epoch Jelly? Um, not to add even more to the hype, but I honestly think this is one of the best 75s that I've ever typed on, if not the best. Does it make it perfect? No, it does not. I do have a couple qualms. Um, for example, one thing I just realized after typing it for like a few days, if you, you know, if you don't have like a completely dust-free environment. This lip right here, right? This lip, this lip starts to gather dust. So today, right before I showed it off to another customer, I had to, I, I, I had to use like a compressed air caster and blow that out. So I'm like, oh, that's kind of, kind of weird. So make sure you guys wash your hands. Make sure you clean it frequently. Yeah, I found like cat hair in there this morning, and I was like, oh shoot. <laughs> But then again, can you really protect against cat hair? I'm gonna say no. <laughs> I'm gonna say that is a lost cause. A lost cause to protect against cat hair. Wait, new mat. Yes, this is a new mat. Guys, look, this is the new Mech Merlin mat. Um, I'm partnering with Zion Studios, which is a vendor in the Philippines, and we are experimenting with some mats here. Once I decide which one I like best, which one feels the best to me, I I will be partnering with some other vendors to to like sell this. Um, I thought about selling it myself, but I I don't know. I I feel like me being a vendor for stuff like this is might not be a good idea. <laughs> I'm already quite busy with quite a few other things. Don't want to have to add on additional shipping and website maintenance, collecting payments, all that sort of deal. You love the types. Yeah, I know. I absolutely love the strength. We have we have other ones as well here. Let let me flash another one just Here is another dust mat that we're trying out. The stars with the giant wizard hat. <laughs> Stuff like that, right? Yep, 
yeah um once we get once i get more more traction on this i'll go let people know what's what the deal is Fur Daddy's fine, rocking that Saturday Dad outfit. <laughs> no, I actually just came back from the gym, so I'm pretty tired. Just got got back, took off the gym shirt, put on whatever I could find really quick. But yeah, check out the pun. It says, seize the day. <laughs> seize the day. Dad joke for the win, I know, right? I like dad jokes, they're fun. They're fun. One of these days, I'll, I'll finally join the Seattle pun competition, or it's called um, Pundemonium, and it's held at this local bar. Um, I think I was gonna go last year, but I got intimidated because Cassidy, who is another member of this community, she is the person behind um, XDA Scrabble and DSA Astrolo Keys. Yeah, she she's pretty big on puns as well, and and she attended, so it's kind of like, oh man, I might lose. So I chose not to. I got intimidated by her. Yeah, some of you guys don't know her. Yeah, she's yeah she's also really big in the tech world. Um, if you're into computer science, uh. You, you may have heard of her. <laughs> She's appeared on Vogue magazine as well as like 35 people under 35, something like that. Really impressive. And if you talk to her, she's like the kindest, most um, humble person ever. Merlin would be afraid he would get punished. Yes, I would be afraid of that happening. Absolutely. <laughs> I love that. Hi, was it? Do you prefer the whale or the Think 6.5 or the Vega? You're talking about the Lin whale? That's what I'm assuming you're talking about? The Lin whale? Um, out of those three, the only one that I have in my here is the Think 6.5, so I can't really comment on if I like them better. But I absolutely love my um my Think 6.5 V2. Sometimes laughing at your own puns is enough. I know, right? There we go. I think so that I don't ruin this dust mat. I'm going to, you know, not try too hard on the lubing. Just do the dielectric grease because that's really, that's really what's important here. Any other chuckle is a bonus, I know, right? Yeah, so there's this mutual friend of ours who used to laugh a lot too, but then she just rolls her eyes. Or actually, no, she um just flat out ignores me whenever I make a pun. <laughs> she flats out ignores me, and then she looks at my wife with this blank stare. Kind of like, I can't believe you married this man. <laughs> What size will the dust mats come in? They're the usual size that's prevalent in this community. What that size is, I don't know off the top of my head. But it's the large size. Is that the cyberboard? No, that is the Jelly Epoch. The one that's going live in about 
55 minutes from now is an in stock order. Yep, 900 by 400 sounds, sounds about right. Countdown, I know, right? Okay, so hopefully in about in about an hour, in about an hour, my jello shots will be ready. Um, haven't made jello in a long time. Honestly, I think I screwed up like the water and the vodka ratio, but about 15 minutes into, or 15 minutes before the group buy, we'll, um, we'll actually talk about it while I take some jello shots. That's assuming my jellos have actually firmed up. So we'll, we'll see what happens there. Jello shots. Yeah, I fully expect, fully expect um, a lot of people to be upset just because there are only 700 international units. Only 700 international units, but you know, like the, the server has about 5,000, 5,000 people in it. So it's like, okay, not everyone, definitely not everyone will get a chance. Yeah, Willis Fox, sorry, I don't let just everyone post links. It's been abused before. Some people have posted some questionable content. So like, ah, let me turn that off. Are those Gatoron Milky Blacks? Yes, they are. These are Gatoron Milky Blacks lubed with 205 G0. Some of my favorite switches. I figured I would, you know, because it's a black board with a black key set. I figured I would keep the theme going by putting in black switches. I thought about doing Gateron KS3, so it's... But then at the same time, I was like, no, I just put that in my Epoch. So, kind of want variety here. Yeah, well, yeah, cool, cool pajama. Send it to me via Discord or even whisper it to me here in Twitch, right? Do you like the lavender switches? They have stock back. Question if I should, if I should get them. Um, lavender switches are probably my favorite JWK switch at the moment, simply because they are nylon top and nylon bottom, so it gives them that very stocky sound. And they're actually really smooth stock. My only issue with lavenders is that they're lavender. They're purple, right? So it's kind of like you guys have been here for a while. You know I have trouble seeing the color purple. So what it looks like to me is this very grayish blue that looks ugly. So I don't like putting ugly switches in my board. Like honestly, if you if if for some reason there was the best switch ever. The best switch in all of existence, right? But it was in a bad color, I wouldn't use it. Even if it was the best switch. Lavenders are a great switch. Absolutely agree with you. Absolutely agree with you. If you can... If you like the colors, I don't. Lavenders, lavenders are a great switch. Of course, some, some, some of them will be like, well, Merlin, once you put keycaps on, you won't see the color. I'm like, I know, I know. It's just a personal thing, you know. I just bought a sack of silks. Nice. Yeah, silks are, silks are I'm good too. They're fine. Just not my preference, right? Not my preference. Did I see the Bakaneko? Yes, I did. I'm not too much of a fan of it, to be honest. It just doesn't look good.
And there we go, we have all the switches in. Perfect. Perfect, let's go test it out. Let's make sure this guy works. Rogue Architect says, casting aluminum is a big meh for me. It's true. You also have to understand, like, the audience that this board was originally intended for, right? Let's see, let's open up Via. Come on, Via. Show me your NK65. There we go, NK65. Key tester, test matrix. Almost got it. I got one switch that's not registering. Not a problem. Not a problem. It's probably just a uh, bent a leg or something. Common issue, unfortunately. Let's see, I actually have a phantom on me right now. I um, haven't built it yet. Probably in the next week or so. Yep, that is a bent pin. Let's um, put in a different switch just in case. Built a tofu with a PC plate and weird flex PCB plus lavenders and it feels and sounds really nice. Yeah, I, I agree with you. Like, my personal take though is if you're building a tray mount board, it's better to build it with docky switches and a docky plate. Because if it gets, um, if, it, if if you put something that's clacky in it, like something like a brass plate and maybe alpacas, it tends to accentuate all of the bad sounds of a tray mount board. Of course, if you buy like a Fial or something, you'll you'll eliminate most of that. There we go. Key tester. Did that switch get fixed. Perfect. Switch got fixed. Excellent. Do you have any sound treatment in your room? Do I have sound treatment in my room? Um, I have carpet. That's, that's quite literally it. Just, uh, carpet. <laughs> Why? Can you hear all, all of the echoes in my room? Is it echoing? Is it shag carpet? Uh -uh. No, it's not. It's just your it's your typical apartment carpet, I guess. Sounds great. Thank you.
actually no we don't need to put that in quite yet this actually screws into the top first Silly, raiding with a party of seven. Thank you. Thanks for sending your people my way. I'm assuming you just ended your stream. What were you working on? What were you working on today? Silly world says, woo. Woo to you too. Just said a Mercutio. Oh, very nice. Mercutio. Yeah, I think that's one of the more unique 40% that I've seen. Unique and affordable. Let's see what time is it. 2.21? Okay, good. We have a few more minutes before the Jelly Epoch group by. Appreciate the kind words. No problem, man. I I only shill the, the, the products that I actually think are, are good. <laughs> Minty Boy says, I'm not even going to try for the jelly. There, there's no way I'm going to beat the bots. You never know. You never know. Right? Like, I beat the bots for the Satisfaction 75 round one. You know? But then again, at the time, you know, Cannon Keys wasn't all that popular yet. Merlin's Mercutio should be on the way. Awesome. That'd be good. Can okay, you put all the screws in? Nope, one more screw. You got the shipping notification for your Mercutio, but no change yet other than shipping label created. Yeah, I got a... Like, I partner with like other people who sent me boards. And like some people really like do this way in advance. They're like, oh, Merlin, I printed you a, a um, shipping label. I'm like, okay, when is it coming? And they're like, oh, I just pre-printed it just in case, but we'll, we'll be sending you your board, board in three months. And I'm like, okay, way to be on top of things. Way to be on top of things. Golf Master says, thoughts on clone keycaps like HK Gaming or Akko? Um, I'm not a fan of clone keycaps at all. Like, I can appreciate the need for cheaper keycaps, right? But... You know, I'm sure you, you can go around and not clone keycaps, come up with your own designs, right? Come up with your own designs. Like, honestly, okay, if you live in an environment, in a country where, like, the wages are probably, like, $100 a month, $100 to $200 a month, I can, I, I can really empathize with not wanting to spend your entire monthly salary on a GMK set. But at the same time, um, I don't think you should even be in this hobby if you're like, if, if you, if you only have that much and you're trying to buy like stuff that's within your monthly paycheck, you may want to reconsider joining a different hobby or you know, or save for a very, very long time. 
Like it is, it is never a good idea to go into debt for like keyboards here, right? It's 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 just just a a hobby, you know. Right. All right, time to screw it in. Five K key called auction. Yeah, I know. Like seriously, there's sometimes I wonder. Like the people who win those for five K, sometimes I wonder if they actually have five K to like just blow, or if they're just like, all right, I'm gonna take a personal loan out for four percent for 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 four to six percent interest, and I'm gonna pay it back for the next three years so I can buy this keyboard. And I'm just kind of like, no, please don't do that. Please don't take personal loans out and. Or don't don't put it on your credit card. I just feel like that's such a such a bad move to do. Don't finance your keyboards, like you know. Only finance your keyboard if you can afford to pay your credit card off in a relatively quick fashion. Like, you know, some people like to use their credit cards even if they have the cash because they get points, they get mileage points, they get cash back points or or whatever, you know, but you know, if, if you can't, I, I guess the general, like the general rule of thumb is if you can't afford it, don't buy it, <laughs> right? If you can't afford it, don't buy it. Or if you can't afford it, save up until you can afford it and then buy it. How do, how do I like the fish foam? Um, I liked it. It was a good, good install. I didn't have trouble putting it in, especially on a hot swap board, but we'll see how it feels once I put keycaps on. Love me my cash back point. Yeah, for sure. That's just good general advice. Yeah, I know. It's just good general advice that people think, people are surprised that it applies to keyboards as well. Like, yeah. Oh, that actually does sound and feel better with the foam. All right, I'm out. Good luck on the build and good luck to anyone going for the Epoch. Yeah, for sure. Thanks a lot for joining in, silly world. Krusty says, I'm just saying for key call 265, I'm going to stop wasting time now. <laughs> or I think here's like this other um other pitfall that, that like people get into, you know? You are saving for the board that you want, but other cheaper boards show up along the way and you're like, oh, you know, that key cult is $600, but you know, a Jelly Epoch is $389. So I'm going to buy that first because I, because, because that's how much I've saved. And then the key cult comes out and you're like, oh crap, I don't have my 600 anymore because I, because I spent 400 of that. Um, I'll just put the rest on credit card, right? And then that cycle starts to repeat. And before you know it, you're like, oh crap, I'm $30,000 in debt. <laughs> Hopefully that never happens to any of you, but you know. What exactly is a retooled black switch? A, re a retooled black switch refers to the molds that Cherry uses to make their switches. You know, repeated usage of a mold to make the switch will wear out the mold. So um, typically what people say is when the mold is brand new, that's when you'll get the smoothest and most consistent switches. When the molds have worn out, the switches tend to fluctuate in smoothness, sound, all those characteristics. So retool just means Cherry was like, oh, these molds are bad. They've worn out. Let's make a new mold. Can always sell later. Yeah, yeah, you can. You know, I am not a financial planner in in like any means. So, you know, 
Don't take financial advice from the guy with the wizard hat that you see on stream. <laughs> How long do I need to break in my MX Black Hyperglides for? It's been like a month. Um, honestly, I feel like breaking in just takes way too long. I, I don't ever break in my my M switches. It just takes too long. It's it's not worth my time to be honest. But if you were to break in a switch, I think if I had to guess, probably one thousand actuation should be enough. 1,000 actuations, give or take. It's 231. Okay, in 15 minutes, I'll go check on my Jello, see if it's solidified or not. Hopefully it's it's solidified so we can do Jello shots while we watch what happens with the Epoch. <laughs> It's about 10,000 actuations. That seems a bit excessive to me. Well, keep in mind, I'm someone who doesn't do that. So what do I know, right? You're almost done with the switch breaker. Oh, nice. The switch breaker. Well, hopefully it doesn't break your switches. Because that's what it sounds like. <laughs> um, I guarantee you that the Epoch will turn into a shit show. Like, I guess... W whenever stuff like this happens, I feel bad for, like, the people running it. Because they undoubtedly get death, th death threats and other... You know, other other insults along the way. It's <laughs> already one. Yeah, I know, right? <laughs> Poor Sarah. Poor Sarah. The two keycap. Yes, it is actually. <laughs> Thanks for telling me. The discord is crazy. Death threats, yeah. Now believe believe it or not, people on the internet can be jerks. No death threats yet, yeah, and I and I hope there won't be any. Okay, get this. Um if you guys caught that posting from Mike of Novel Keys, right? It was it was just the NK65 Entry Edition. An Entry Edition board, and people were sending death threats over that. Why am I closing it? Because it just... <laughs> See? <laughs> yeah. I got the Voice 65 when it first released. Yeah, I absolutely wish I would have gotten that Voice 65. After seeing the quality of like, of like Owl Lab boards, Really wish I would have joined in on it, but you know, twenty from um, hindsight is always twenty twenty. It seemed like you closed it. Yeah, it's just like I guess I could keep it open as much. There you go. It's already starting to like recover, so eventually it will close. Eventually it will close back in on itself. Saturday is 40k points and no mention. 40k for what? I'm not seeing anything in my logs here. <laughs> uh, 
There we go. There we go. Let's finish the board. Yay, fully upgraded. Fully upgraded NK65 V1. Brought up to quote unquote modern standards. <laughs> Let's see, with key, key cap, is there ever IP concerns with that key? I'm assuming you're talking about the Windows key? That's actually a very good question. I've never, never, um, I've never actually asked about that. I, I've always thought it was kind of like a, a common logo, you know? Because it's not quite the Microsoft logo. Leo says, I have that same board, never getting rid of it. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. This definitely sounds much better than than what I remember too. Let me let, let me grab my um, entry edition just for comparison. Uh, Krusty Man Me says, Merlin, are those keycap custom? These are JWK. I'm sorry, <laughs> JTK. I keep saying JWK. Willis Rock subscribed to tier one. Thank you. Thank you for your support, Willis Rocks. Let's see. All right, so here we go. This is the entry edition with Telios. Yep, yep. This one sounds way, way better now. Ugh. No, the Merlin keycaps. Um, this is GMK Merlin. Um, yes, I guess they're custom. The Oh yeah, you guys can't hear the boards because I have a vocal mic picking up the sounds. Let me, let me turn that part off. All right, turn off the noise filter. Boom, okay, noise filter should be off. Here is NK65EE. Here is the new board. Much nicer much better. Of course, different switches, Gateron Blacks, Telios. So of course, there's there's that difference right there. Sounds way better than E. Yeah, I know, I know. Especially, I think it's the foam that did the trick. The foam and different switches. Yeah, this one's a way too clacky for me. This one's got that thock. Listen to that space bar. Yeah, you can still hear like echo there, but it's not as bad as it used to be. I'm glad, very glad. All right, goodbye EE. -E. Goodbye, EE. -E. No more EE. -E. Did I pick up spacebar foam? No, I did not. I just picked up, you know, regular plate foam here. Still nothing like the Jelly Epoch, apparently. Oh, it's 2.42. So hopefully my Jello's good by now. We'll see. Let's see, I'm just gonna go take a quick peek at my Jello. It's in the fridge. There we go. Duck Butter says, why does it sound so good? Um, just how they designed it. They have a super flexi plate, super flexi PCB, um, variations of foam inside. It's how they designed the cavity. It's just, it's an amazing sounding board. Yeah. Iowa says, Merlin got around and reach out to me later about that stuff. Yes, for sure, for sure. Thank you so much for pinging me as well. Let's 
let's see. Zanbar says, picking a color is tough. For me, it was Navy versus Sage versus SE. All right. So those are the three that sold out last, I think. Yeah. Wow. Okay. Wow. That was, uh... That was quite the group I. <laughs> quite the group I. And I know this was not even a jelly stream. This kind of just, this was just me trying to rebuild my NK65, but morphed into a jelly stream. So for those who stayed, for those who came to watch the NK65 and stayed for the jelly, thanks for staying. <laughs> yeah. Chase, it was kind of easy. I was chilling and got it. Oh, you. Is that the hot swap or solder version? This is the solder version. You guys can catch my build stream, which I posted on YouTube this morning. I condensed it from a very long four and a half hour build to a one and a half hour build. As the secure jelly as well. Congrats, man. Zambar says, I'm weird like that. I also don't like GMK sets or cherry profile. Not a problem, man. To, to each their own, just cause Someone likes cherry doesn't mean you need to as well, you know? As visit, watch that video first thing in the morning, man. Thank you so much. Yeah, um, if you watched it till the very end, if you watch the video, the VOD till the very end, I do um cast my magic spells. So yeah, there we go. I'm glad it helped you all. Glad it helped you all. Leo says, can you, can you shoot <laughs> me over one of those jelly shots? Sure. Sure I can. <laughs> For sure. Yeah, why not? Why not? Why not? Right. Why not? <laughs> um, not sure if it will last, but... <laughs> Well, anyway, guys, it is 318. It is 318. I think I've done what I sought to do, which was build this board. Um, everything extra, everything extra was just me talking about the jelly. So hopefully everyone enjoyed the stream, learned a little bit more about how fast an actual in-stock group buy could go. And yeah, um, you'll see more of this as this is probably my current favorite board. So tune in tomorrow for the latest group buy news to find out all the other things that you could spend your hard-earned money on. Last week's total purchase price was like a 4,100 bucks. Um, this week, I'm expecting it to be a little bit cheaper, but no promises. I haven't done all my calculations, but you guys will find out by tomorrow evening. All right, guys, thanks for joining in, and I will see you tomorrow evening. Goodbye, guys.